Well, hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Um, so I got another cool revelation today. God's really speaking. It's awesome. So of course, you know, the famous, um, no one knows the day or the hour thing always comes up in the comments. Um, and so I asked Jesus, you know, I said, Jesus, I was like, um, if, if it says in your word, no one knows the day or the hour, you know, why, why would you tell me? Because I know he told me literally gave me the date and I could not tell Cassie or Jess the only way they got it was by counting the leaves but but before that the Lord spoke and he said um what does x mean and so I said that to Cassie she goes I don't know 10 <laughs> so I think that's how Cassie and and Jess got 22 because the Lord had given them that clue for 10 but I don't think it was to get 22 I think it was for something Daniel. So, um, I noticed there were 10. It stuck out on me today because, okay, so a couple of things stuck out on me today. What happens, what does the devil always do? The devil always mocks God's creation, always. Okay, and then haven't you heard where you play a song and if you rewind it backwards, there's a message? Guys, I have never read anything backwards in my life that would make sense. I am literally reading the Bible backwards right now. Like I go from the bottom, each sentence, like, and I'm going to show you. And I go up from the top and it's like a whole nother revelation. And I'm just like blown away. And so 10 was in Daniel one and also, you know, the line of Judah and all that stuff. And it was talking about, um, basically understanding dreams and visions and it's kind of like what's happening right now like foreshadowing the end time events and if you go in Daniel 12 he talks about the end time events but if you read it from the bottom on each sentence when they get when he says um you'll escape from this and I'll, I'll read it because I can't remember the exact word but I was just like it just reads so differently and I'm gonna show you the difference okay um, we'll do we'll do Daniel 12 because it's shorter. So I'm going to read it normal. And first I claim that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's also God. He came to earth as a man in the flesh, and he bled and died on the cross for our sins. He rose on the third day. Okay. Oh, and also that scripture really quick. So the last will be first and the first last, for many are called, but few are chosen. Well, read it backwards. For many are called, but few chosen, so the last will be first and the first last. God always has double meanings to everything he does in parables. So the last will be first and the first last. And then I realized guys, when he was showing me the messages and he was writing the messages, he would give me a scripture. Okay. But sometimes he would give me the same scripture, but I always noticed that he would do like, if it was like Exodus, I'm just making up a number because I don't have it memorized, like 412. He'd give me 416 first and then go back to like 410. Always did that. Or if I got like a confirmation scripture, the one that talked about knowing the knowledge of his will was always above that one. It was like he was leading me to read up top first and then go. It, because I had to keep reading because I was like, okay, this is flowing into this, um, you know, or, or below the scripture. You know, it's, it's hard to explain. Okay, so I'm going to read Daniel 12, normal. Now I want you, and then I'm going to read it backwards. <laughs> okay, Daniel 12. At that time, Michael shall stand up, the great prince who stands, watch over the sons of your people, and there shall be time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that time. And at that time, your people shall be delivered, everyone who is found written in the book, and many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, some to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament, and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. But you, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. Then I, Daniel, looked, and there stood two others, one on his river bank and the other on that river bank. And one said to the man clothed in linen, who was above the waters of the river, How long shall the fulfillment of these wonders be? Then I heard the man clothed in linen, who was above the waters of the river when he held up his right hand and his left hand to heaven and swore by him who lives forever that it shall be a time times and a half time and when the power of the holy people has been completely shattered all these things shall be finished 
Although I heard, I did not understand. Then I said, my Lord, what should be the end of these things? And he said, go your way, Daniel, for the wards are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. Many shall be purified, made white and refined, but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. And from the time that the daily sacrifice is taken away, and the abomination of desolation is set up, and there shall be 1,290 days. Blessed is he who waits and comes to the 1,335 days. But you go your way till the end, for you shall rest and will arise to your inheritance at the end of the days. Okay, so when I asked him that, and then I'm going to read it backwards now, watch. <laughs> when I asked him that, he said, I sealed it up in the end. Guys, no one knows what was sealed up in the end. Literally, this is all playing out right now. What did God say the other day? He said, I chose you from the very beginning for my will and my purpose. So the stuff closed up and sealed in the Bible in Daniel is actually the events happening right now in the end times. He revealed all this to me today. Okay. Here's backwards, but you go your way till the end for you shall rest and will arise to your inheritance at the end of the days. Blessed is he who waits and comes to the 1,335 days. And from the time that the daily sacrifice is taken away and the abomination of desolation is set up, there shall be 1,290 days. Many shall be purified, made white and refined, but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Go your way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. Then I said, my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? Um, although I heard, I did not understand. Then let's see. Oh, how long? Oh, no. Then I heard the man clothed in linen who was above the waters of the river when he held up his right hand and his left hand to heaven and swore by him who lives forever that it shall be for time, times and a half time. And when the power of the holy people has been completely shattered, all these things shall be finished. How long shall the fulfillment of these wonders be? And one said to the man clothed in linen who was above the waters of the river. It's hard to read backwards. Then I, Daniel, looked and there stood two others, one on this river bank and the other on that river bank. But you, Daniel, shut up the words and sealed the book until the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall increase. Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament, firmament and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. And many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, some to shame and everlasting contempt. And at that time, your people shall be delivered, every one who is found written in the book. Okay, guys, uh, let's see. And then, oh, at that time, Michael shall stand up, the great prince who stands watch over the sons of your people. And there shall be time of trouble such as never was was since there was a nation even to that time. Have you ever read anything backwards that was so perfectly constructed? I know I haven't. <laughs> so try it. Try reading Revelation backwards from the bottom. I literally read from the bottom. See my little marks? My little marks? That was to keep my place. I read from the bottom up and if you do that with revelation 22 you're going to see revelation in so many different orders you it's going to blow your mind god is so good guys and for the people who do not think that i'm hearing from him he's literally like giving me secrets of the bible right now and not just me i'm not special he gives it to many people that he's chosen from the very beginning god wrote about this in his bible sealed and he also talks about having mysteries in the Bible. And then in the Daniel, I think we'll run out of time. I don't have time to read Daniel 1, but go read Daniel 1 backwards. And it's really crazy. It's talking about the four. And, you know, God recently put me together with four people and dreams and visions. And, and it's just, it's amazing. I'm not saying we're, it's just symbolism. The whole Bible is just a lot of symbolism. Ignore the Telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're still trying to scam you because they're evil minions on YouTube. So just block them when you see them. Uh, believe in Jesus Christ with all your heart, guys. If you confess he's Lord, 
from your mouth and believing with your heart, he will save you. Have a blessed day.